hello my friends and welcome back to the deep day road this is one of the series how you see them versus reality the rest of the series is in a playlist on the channel you can find it there if you want each reading is a different story about a different situation everything you need to know about the schedule of the channel is in the description box keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate with all of you and energy could be vice versa I'm going to tell you a short story and you decide who is who in this story. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification button. So each time I post something new, you will be notified. And if you can hit like, share and comment, this will help the channel to grow. Thank you so much for doing that. Let's see these three cards before we start our reading. The Emperor, the Three of Pentacles and the Magician. You are working so hard with this magician energy to find a way to cooperate with this emperor. I believe it doesn't matter how hard you will try. It seems this emperor took the decision that they don't want to deal with this situation. And I believe, I feel more that this is something about work. I'm not feeling a relationship here. You are trying to contact somebody, to deal with somebody, to work with somebody, to ask somebody for help or being a partner. It seems that this person took the decision that they don't want to cooperate with you. This person is emotionally attracted to you. They are trying not to come closer because they are afraid that if they will stay longer around you, they will lose control. They are now trying to control themselves. If you will stay around for long, especially if you will work together, this is a dangerous situation for them. I don't know if they can handle it. Because of that, you're, they are trying to cut this from the beginning. They don't want to take that risk. How they see you physically. It's not about how they see you. You know what? I'm going to go with the flu. This is how they see you physically. Reality. Emotionally. Reality. Mentally, reality. Wow. This person has no idea about you. Usually the reading is about how they see you. But when I started, I started to say how they see you. Not how you see them. So I'm going to keep it that way for this week. This is how they see you. This is how they feel about you. This is how you feel about them. This is the opposite of the reading that I usually do. It came that way. It seems this is a message for someone. I'm going to leave it. This is the outcome. This person in general, if there is anything we need clarification, I'm going to clarify. In general, this person think that you are way weaker than you are. And I believe this person idea because they see you the five of coins and the page of cups and the tower, they think that you are not mature and strong enough so they can control the situation. While your reality is completely different. You are the lovers, the temperance and judgment. Three major arcanas here. I believe because you are very kind and polite to deal with people, this is giving the impression to this person that you are weak. They are not understanding the difference between being grounded and down to earth and being weak. I believe this is the misunderstanding here. 
they see you physically as the five of coins this person think that you are in a situation when you are alone and you are coming out of a very hard time emotionally financially you are trying to come out of this energy of being alone and lonely not only alone because sometimes we stay for a very long time alone but we don't have that lonely feeling and some other times we have this lonely feeling even if the, we are living with 10 people in the house. This person think that you are lonely from inside. You are, you are missing emotions in your life. While in reality, you are the lovers. You are, and the lovers in this deck giving the impression of strength do you see you are ready or able to manage and deal with the worst personalities ever you have your ways to tame the beast you are not lonely maybe sometimes you feel lonely but deep inside you, you are very strong and you can deal with any energy and you can calm it down to make it communicate and cooperate with you in a magical way. While this person think that you are left out and you need a rescue mission, you don't. You are who would do rescue missions to save people. You don't need somebody to rescue you. How they see you emotionally the page of cups this person think that you are missing emotions and you are ready to offer your cup of love to anyone who will come in front of you trying to test the water and find love anywhere like desperate <coughs> excuse me desperate for love well reality you are the temperance you are very balanced as I told you, the feeling that came to me when I saw these cards from the beginning, this person think because you are down to earth and nice and loving and open towards people that you are running after love and you are lonely, just jumping towards anyone. There is a huge misunderstanding between your reality and what this person think. How they see you mentally, the tower. This person thinks that there is something so big happened in your life and it's still affecting your life, your way of thinking. While reality, your judgment. Even if there was a tower in your life, you passed this tower long time ago and you, you like analyzed everything happened in your life and the reason of this tower, and you are now healed and ready, and you learned your lessons. You are in a very beautiful energy, and my feeling, and I hope I'm right, I'm wrong, this person think that you are weak enough so they can take advantage on you, or they can control you. I don't think this person can. I don't think anyone on earth can. But this energy here, I don't think anyone can control you. This person, even though if they hold emotions towards you and they are attracted to you, they want this. They want to control the situation. They want to be with you under their rules. They want to be in charge here. And they think, and um, forgive me, to say that this is what I'm seeing here. You are weak enough and they, are, they can control you because you are weak. Why you are extremely strong in a balanced way, not strong in an aggressive way. You are very balanced, healed, 
Let's see how they feel about you. The Ten of Wands. This person think that they can bring you back from the dead. And because they will do that, you will be under their control. Like they will offer you what you need. So at that point, after you get everything you were wishing for from them, you will stay day and night thankful to this person because what they gave you. This is the mentality that this person is trying to deal with you. How you feel about them, the Hierophant. You want something real and tangible with this person and you are ready to go all the way with them. It seems this is a very new situation you didn't understand this person yet because there, is, it, there was no enough time for that. I believe with this Hierophant here, you are ready to go with them all the way because you are attracted to them, but you are not judging them and trying to come to conclusions about their personality as they are doing. You have four major arcanas here. Based on what I'm seeing here and the way that this person is thinking, the mentality of them and your reality, I believe you are vibing way higher than this person, way higher than them. This person want to give you the life that they think that you're looking for and you cannot find. And by that, they will control you and you have to thank them day and night because they offer you this. I didn't like the energy of this person at all. This person, in a way, they are here to take advantage on you. They think that they can. Let's see the outcome. The Two of Cups. Are you going to, to teach this person a lesson? This is your personality. This is how they think about you. I'm gonna do something different here and see how you think about them. Physically, emotionally, mentally. You see them physically, the chariot, very strong. And I believe with this chariot here, you think that this person is showing something completely different that they hide. They are hiding something and showing something else. And I believe you feel that this person is showing that strength from that chariot face, but deep inside them, they are not that strong. You are feeling that from them. How you see them emotionally, the eight of ones, you feel that this person is impulsive. I think you understand them way more than they understand you. How you see them mentally, the hanged man, you believe that this person is attached to something and they're thinking based on that. It seems that this person is coming from a background where they lived with someone who took advantage on them and they feel now it's their turn to control the situation and take advantage on you so they will not be ever again in that situation where they will be a victim. 
this person is not healed at all. In the past, it seems this person lived a situation where somebody took advantage of them. And they, they came to a conclusion that if you want to be in a good, balanced relationship, you have to be in control. And this is what they're doing. They saw from you a personality where they think that they can, they can control you because they feel that they are more powerful than you because they didn't understand your personality. This person is coming to this situation based on a very sick background. They need healing. They need to understand the difference between being balanced and being in control. The right relationship is the temperance. This is the right relationship. The chariot and the hanged man. These are two energies in this situation for somebody who is not ready. They are showing you that impulsive energy because they think that you are the right person to control. And I believe you are feeling something from this person and you, you, you read them deeper than they read you. You know that this person is showing strength while they are impulsive and they are attached to, to an idea in their mind, not a person, an idea. They think if they want to live happy, they have to control everything. Your calm, balanced, healed energy will be the reason for this person to change, to understand what is the reality of love and what is really being in a relation, loving relationship with someone. Not this or this, this. But this two of cups here, I believe you will be the reason to bring balance to this person's life. And this is the outcome of this reading. You will be the reason. I don't feel this person is a bad person, but they are holding a bad energy because they are acting based on reactions. This person need to heal themselves so they will be on the same level as you. If this person will stay here on this, there is no way you can deal with them. You are vibing way higher than this person. They need healing and I believe this healing will happen and this is the outcome. The Two of Cups, two mature people they are very equal. You will be the reason to bring balance to this person's life. You are the temperance. The lover, the lovers, the temperance, and, the, and judgment. And this is how you feel about them. I believe if you feel this way towards this person, you are ready to put the effort to help them. But keep in mind to, because we have, in this situations, I have to be very clear. You are ready with this energy to help this person only if they are ready to be healed. If they don't want or they are not open to that, it doesn't matter if you are ready or not, if you can or not. If this person will not take the decision that they are ready to heal, it doesn't matter what you will do. This will change nothing. So always try to find out if this person ready or not. If they are not ready, everything, every effort you will put will be a waste of time. You can help them only if they are ready and they want. Well, this is what I have for you, my friends. I know this came different way, but I believe 
this is something somebody need to hear. Thank you so much for being with me. Wish you all the best. I hope this was a helpful reading in a way because it's not always about the story. There is always something when we listen to a reading, there is always a message for us we can catch if we just open our heart. It's not about the story. It's about the message. Thank you, my dear. Wish you all the best. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.